I don't think I can get past what he said or did. It was just too much. I totally get that. <laughs> My husband did and said a lot. That was really hard for me. But saying we can't, can we though? I figured out how to do this and I want to share with you some tips that helped me figure out how to get past all of that. Because really, if we want to move forward, if we want to have a healthy marriage, if we want to have a future with this man that betrayed us, we need to figure out how to do this. So I'm going to share with you how I managed to do that. A little tip I learned in just a minute. All right, so um, how do we get past this? And, and the stuff he said, the stuff he did. And I don't know what your case is, but in mine, um, my husband had the laundry list of reasons why he had the affair, and they were all about me. <laughs> I wasn't doing this enough. I was doing this too much. Whatever. It was all my fault. And one of the things that he... Um, said was that I was too controlling. That was something that really bothered him about me, that I was too controlling. And of course he had, you know, all these examples of that. And, you know, looking back, you know, when I started actually doing the personal reflection work, which I strongly suggest we all do, when I started looking back, yeah, yeah, I see it. I see how I had control tendencies. And ironically enough, I think I always feared he might cheat on me. I don't know why. Um, I had been cheated on in my past. Maybe that had something to do with it, but I did have controlling tendencies. And I think part of him was kind of rebelling against that. So, you know, if you have these behaviors, and I, I did, I, I started working on them. And what I resented was it didn't matter how much work I had done on it. Even when I wasn't being controlling, he would accuse me of being controlling. And it was very frustrating. So over the years during our reconciliation and healing process of the marriage, it's like, you know, I kind of became resentful of that. I had a hard time getting past that. And I tell you all that to say, I understand how hard it is to get past the things they said and did. Because that really bothered me. He had the affair. So like, if he had the affair, why am I being punished when I'm working my butt off, to, what is he doing? Is he working on him? I mean, let me tell you, I went through all of that stuff. So I had to figure out how to get past that. So this is a real life example because just yesterday, this is a true story, just yesterday, my husband and I were going for a walk. Now I haven't encountered or run up against this in a long time, <clears throat> but we went for a walk and, and something in the conversation Reminded me of something. I'm a verbal processor. <laughs> so when something in the conversation just sparked and reminded me of something, I'm like, oh, yeah, by the way, I wanted to talk to you about that. So what if, what if we do this? And what if we think about doing that? Was this... So I'm just going with it. And I'm just talking, talking, talking. I stopped a couple of times to get his feedback. But then I would just keep talking and talking. And I noticed he got super quiet, like really eerily quiet. I said, are you, are you upset with me? And he said, yeah, I think I am. I'm like, because we were talking about something so benign. I mean, it, it wasn't relationship related at all. It was just really this stupid, benign conversation. And he said, yeah. He said, just feels like you're just controlling things again. <laughs> what? Let me tell you. I almost lost my mind in that moment, but, he, but I engaged what I'm about to teach you because this is a tip that I had to learn to do a long time ago because what happened in that moment was I was triggered like crazy. The word control coming out of his mouth directed at me just flooded back to me all those accusations he had that he, he used to validate his affair. All of the, you know, it didn't matter how hard I worked on it, I was still controlling, you know, it, it was never good enough. I mean, everything just went right, right on me, okay? And we're on this walk. So the, this is all happening in my head in a matter of moments. 
And then this is what I engaged, and this is what I want to share with you. Here's what I have to do when I'm like, I just can't get past this. I have to ask myself the question, is this true? Is this true? And what I mean by that is, is it true that I'm being controlling? Is it true that he's saying, because really the bottom line is he used that as an excuse, you know, a validation to have the affair. Is he using that as a validation to do something wrong or to hurt me? You know, what is happening in this situation? So I ask myself, is this true? And the answer is, well, I was really kind of rambling on and kind of, I took the conversation and ran with it. So no, it's not true that I'm trying to be controlling, but it is true that I can see how he could misunderstand it as being, I, I can understand how he would feel like that's what I'm doing, if that makes any sense. So yeah, on the one hand, you know, I can understand his feelings, but on the other hand, that wasn't my intention. So is he doing this to try to accuse me of a behavior to validate something he's doing wrong? And the answer to that very quickly was, no, that's not true. That is not happening at all. So in a matter of moments, I had this play out in my mind. And then I was able to say, hey, listen, um, he had no idea I was triggered. I said, hey, listen, I can see how you might feel that way. I totally understand that. And I'm very sorry. I should have paused and given you a chance to contribute to the conversation. However, please know that that was not my intention and nothing about anything I was saying was trying to control you or your decisions, period. And we moved on, okay? Now, of course, I'm 10 years out. So it's easy for me to process through eight years ago this was difficult because any time there was any kind of accusation of my behavior, controlling, manipulative, whatever, that he would try to say or use in a given conversation, that's what I had to do. Is this true? Are we back here again? Is this really what's happening? You know? And then I have to go through the process. And the thing about asking yourself, is this true? If you can't get past something he said, like that, controlling, whatever, you know. If you can't get past something he said, ask yourself, well, is that true now? He might have said that two years ago, but is that your current reality? And, you know, and a lot of times when we say things like, I don't think I can get past his, the affair or I can't get past the things he said, then usually when we say that, that means we're questioning stuff because he's doing everything right. Like he's, he's working on him. He's trying. He's doing everything we've asked him to do, but yet we can't get past it. So a lot of times when we have these conversations with ourselves and we're like, I just, I just don't think I can get past it. It's, it's because that past, whatever he did in the past is living in our current reality. We're pulling it here, even though it doesn't live here. So asking the question, is this true? Is this my current reality? It, does he really think that way about me? Even though he's not saying it, I can't get past it. So I'm going to let it live here, even though it doesn't belong here. I hope that's making sense because here's the thing. <laughs> I, I hate it. This is just the reality of, of our lives right now. It happened. All of it. We can't change it. He can't change it. He can't fix it. We can't fix it. All we can do is begin every day saying, this is today. This is my present. This is what's happening in my present. And this is what I want for tomorrow. So that's all we have. Is it true? If you, can't, if you can't get past the affair, is it true right now? Is it part of your current reality? Is it, is it happening right now? If the answer is no, I, I don't think it's happening right now. Well, then why is it here? Because we have the power to move ahead. We have the power to change direction. We have the power to create a different tomorrow. But we can't do that if we're still living in the past. Is it true? The thing you can't get past, is it your current reality? Or is it still a past event that you just can't change? 
Now, maybe you just can't. Maybe you just don't want to get past it. You want to keep that in your pocket. Well, if that's the case, then your marriage will never be healthy and happy. We either have to take that past and put it back where it belongs so that we can move into our future. Or if we try to carry it with us, we're stuck. We're never going to get there because the past is grounded. It's like a super heavy anchor. You can't carry it with you. It doesn't define your husband. It doesn't define you unless you let it. Is it true? Is it true? Is what you can't get past truly part of your present? And do you really want it to be part of your future? So next time you say, I can't get past it, well, is it true? <laughs> can you? Maybe you can. So I kind of help separate that out. I do this in a matter of like a couple of minutes now. This is just habit for me. You know, when I get triggered or when, you know, that thing that just I carry resentment about that I really need to work through. And obviously I still need to work through my resentment over the whole controlling issue because that still bothers me apparently. And I didn't realize how much it bothered me until yesterday. So I'm still carrying that. I haven't gotten past it. You see, I have work to do. We all do. So give that a try. See if that helps. And we have a really fabulous um, Facebook group. I'd love for you to join us. We talk about stuff like this all the time. I'm in this group every day. I try to reply to every post if I can. Um, I also have some great free materials attached to this. So if this resonated with you at all, I've got more like it. There's a great video. Uh, it's the first link I have. Watch it. It's good stuff. It's got some fantastic uh, tips and strategies in there that can really help you no matter what stage you are in your affair recovery. I also have a free guide. I want you to check that out too. So click the links below. Join us. We'd love to have you. And uh, in the meantime, give that, give that a practice. Is it true? Is this my reality? Is it true? <laughs> you know, ground yourself in what is now so you can leave the past where it belongs. Good luck.